succession planning was an issue that we found when we came into office in November of 2020. Um, really, many of the, 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 the offices, many of the very important offices, did not have proper succession plans in place. So it's a criticism that I will um, accept in terms of the Auditor General's office. What happened was that uh, Ms. Dorothy Bradley retired two years ago. She was brought back on, on contract for two years. She has The, the contract has um, come to an end and she has decided not to continue in the office. Of course, I, I have to congratulate her and thank her for her years of service, not only in the Auditor General's office, but throughout the public service. She's served in various posts. Now we're at the point where we're advertising for a new Auditor General. We have individuals in the office that are going to be holding over, or the Deputy Auditor General is holding over for a period of four months, and then we see who applies. We're hoping that we can get um, the best person for this post, somebody that has the requirements, somebody that has the management capacity because not o auditor general does not mean you only mean that you have to be a good auditor you also have to manage that office